Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Breaking news. Sam Whitelock has officially come out of retirement. Well, sort of. Uh, in that he has officially confirmed that he will play one more game of international rugby before officially hanging up his boots as we all thought he had already. Um, basically what has happened is that Sam Whitelock has confirmed or has been confirmed as part of the Barbarian squad to take on Fiji next weekend in the Killer Cup. Um, which will be a, um, a a game after um, the Wales versus South Africa test taking place at Twickenham as well. Um, so one of the best to have ever done it uh, in Sam Whitelock, the most cat player of all time in international rugby, um, was said to have hung his boots up after finishing the top 14 season with Powell, but has officially been confirmed as part of the Barbarians, which means that his career will have another two weeks and he will bow out of the game in an international game as they face Fiji. It's a very cool um, way to do it, actually, to be honest. And uh, before we talk about some of the other players involved, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. It is an elite club to play for the Barbarians. And you look at some of the players that they've had over the years, it is, I mean, it's the coolest thing, isn't it? it as a rugby player, you ask any rugby player, their biggest ambition is to play international rugby for their nation, you know, play Spring Mocks or play All Blacks. Um, but something that every single you know, player wants to do is play for the Barbarians. And, um, you know, it's it's got so much heritage. It's had some phenomenal players play for it. And uh, it's something that uh, Sam Whitelock has not done yet, um, which is interesting for somebody who's played for so many um, years, played so many games, you know, 158 games or whatever it is that he played, um, and never managed to get to, to get a Barbarians game. So I think this is the perfect way for somebody like Sam Whitelock to go out of the game. You know, to have had a season in the top in the top fourteen, um, you know, it was a nice sort of bit of a money maker. Um, but I kind of feel like had he gone out, had he finished in the World Cup, he would have gone out in a bit of a, a bang, regardless of the result. Slightly the, the, the final, you know, it would have been a really cool way to end it. But it wasn't quite the case, you know. Unfortunately, didn't win the final for him, and uh, then he kind of went to top fourteen. It kind of fizzled out. But I think that this is a really cool way to to go out uh, when it turns to your career. You know, to go and play for the Barbarians, you know, which is a is a is a club all about the love of rugby. Um, playing for all the right reasons, playing great rugby. And, uh, you know, he's, for me, somebody who just screams Barbarian in terms of somebody who's been as phenomenal on the pitch as, as he has been off the pitch, for example, a real leader. Uh, I think he likes to have a good time, a very good role model. And uh, it's an opportunity for him to sign off in front of a packed Twickenham Stadium and to say, that's it for me, over to you guys. And, I, I mean, I, I look, I mean, I, I spoke to Sam Whitelock, you know, I've been lucky enough to have been in press conferences and to do sort of, um, you know, um, stand-ups, for example, and he's just a phenomenal player for a start, but a phenomenal person as well. You know, he comes across really well, very humble. Um, wouldn't quite say softly spoken, but, um, you know, very um, reserved sometimes in, in sort of the way he goes about it. And uh, I think he's just the perfect model of what a rugby player should be. And I think this is a very cool way for him um, to go out. In terms of other players involved, uh, they will be coached um, by Robbie Deans, who's a also a Crusaders legend, much like... Um, the gigantic block. And a whole bunch of England stars are set to play in the match, including the likes of Danny Kerr, Ben Young, um, both England centurions, Zach Mercer, Jonathan Joseph, who's played a couple of times for the Barbarians, uh, Johnny May, uh, May, as well as Carl Sinclair. So it's a very cool names on that uh, Barbarians list. And, you know, we'll have to wait for an official um, squad list, which will hopefully come by um, in the next, in the next, in the next sort of few days and stuff like that. But I mean, for example, we look at, at some of the players who have played um, for um, for the Barbarians, and uh, look, I mean, there are some there are some absolute legends who have played played several games. We don't really get to see it happening as much these days, where you know, players play sort of twenty, uh, thirty games and stuff like that. But um, you know, it's it's likes of uh, like a Victor Matfield, for example, has played. Um, obviously, Adam and Jones played for the Barbarians as well. Um, we've had basically anyone as anyone has, has essentially played for the Barbarians at some point. Um, if we look at, for example, some of the recent Barbarian players, um, the likes of uh, Joe Marler play, um, Pierre Schoolman, Liam Messon, for example, um, Finn Russell played last last year. Um, we often have quite a few uh, South Africans, for example, uh, David Delindy's played for the Barbarians, Pierre Dianti, Andre Pollard, um, Kevin DeCarney, see, at least he's even actually played a, a game for the Barbarians as well. So it's a really, really cool uh, establishment. And uh, if anybody that follows rugby will know that barbarians games are super fun because they do it's a, it's it's an exhibition game it is an international game in inverted commas but it's not a test match 
Um, and it's 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 a it's a team that don't take the points, for example. You'll see they'll never ever take the three points. Or sometimes they have, but they've even been booed at times. But you'll see, for example, Bucky's Buerta kicked for goal, um, mimicking the Dan Bigger, you know, sort of those iconic moments. That's the kind of team that Barbarians are. And they've always got a very, very cool um week up. You know, they do a lot of social stuff um and, and a lot of um stuff for charity as well. So it's a really, really cool um game it's a very cool establishment and yeah i just think it's the perfect way for something like sam white block to bow out the game are you gonna watch the game surely and who else would you like to see play for the barbarians let me know in the comments below smash like on the video subscribe to the channel as well thank you very much for watching my name is steve i'll chat to you soon